what is it that is present all around us we can feel it but we cannot see it it is colorless odorless tasteless and it blows no it is not a ghost it is air air is present all around us so what is the composition of air air is an invisible mixture of gases mixture yes it is made up of mainly of nitrogen nearly 78% oxygen nearly 21% it also contains water vapor and small amounts small means 1% around of other gases these other gases include carbon dioxide ozone helium and hydrogen you must have heard about the humidity of air what does it mean it's the amount of water vapor present in the air that determines the humidity of the air let's talk about the importance of air air is very important for animals and plants all the animals including human beings need oxygen to live they all need this oxygen every minute and second of their life they take oxygen from air through the process of breathing the oxygen present in air is used to produce energy from the food that is eaten in this process carbon dioxide gets formed which is breathed out oxygen is also required for burning plants require air to live and grow let's do an activity take two potted plants add water to both the plants and keep them in sunlight cover one of the plants with a thin transparent plastic sheet observe the plants for few days the plant which is kept covered with plastic sheet will shrink up and dry out after some days the other plant will remain healthy why this is because plants need air to live they use the carbon dioxide present in air to prepare their own food by a process known as we all know photosynthesis they carry out this process in the presence of sunlight would you like to practice the spelling of photosynthesis let's divide the word into photo and synthesis p h o t o photo synthesis s y n t h e s i s easy how does nature maintain a balance animals and human beings use oxygen present in the air and give out carbon dioxide gas plants on the other hand consume carbon dioxide during photosynthesis in daytime they then give out oxygen in this way a balance of carbon dioxide and oxygen is maintained in the air can you guess how many times a human being breathes every day on an average a human being breathes 22000 times and takes in 16 kilograms of air every day yeah these are facts would you like to know something about nitrogen gas nitrogen gas present in the air is also essential for the growth of plants huh yes because nitrogen helps in the rapid growth of plants it also helps them to develop 
their fruits and seeds. It also increases the size and quality of their leaves. Plants therefore require nitrogen in large amounts. However, plants cannot absorb nitrogen directly from the air. Then, nitrogen gas has to be changed into other forms to be utilized by the plants. How? The bacteria present in the soil help to convert the atmospheric nitrogen into such specific forms that is nitrate and ammonium salts. These salts are taken in by plants to get the nitrogen needed by them. The plant roots absorb the soil from the soil. Plants then use them to form proteins which are essential for their growth. Most of us must have heard the word atmosphere. What is the atmosphere? We can take it like a shield. Our atmosphere also acts as a shield very much like an umbrella to protect us from the harmful rays of sunlight. Ozone gas present in the upper layers of the atmosphere prevents harmful ultraviolet rays of sunlight from reaching the surface of the earth. These ultraviolet rays can cause skin and eye diseases in animals and affect the growth of plants. Thus, ozone layer in the air protects the animals and plants from the harmful effects of the ultraviolet rays present in sunlight. 